Hi, it's Jesse here at Bold Grid, and I'm here today to help one of our users in the WordPress.org forums. A uh, software dancer comes to us with a question about creating backups on the XAMPP uh, local WordPress installation. And basically what's happening is every time software dancer uh, creates their backup, all of the database tables are being excluded and we're trying to find out why. Um, so Software Dancer, if you have a minute to uh, follow these steps, help us troubleshoot, I'd really appreciate it. Um, so I've just got a testing site here, and um, I'm in Google Chrome, so I can use a shortcut Control-Shift-C to open my browser inspector. Um, you can also right-click and hit Inspect uh, to do that. Um, and then we're going to go over to the Network tab. And what we're going to be looking for is an XHR and fetch data. Um, so get those up. I'll go through the steps one more time. So uh, right click, inspect, go to the network tab. And um, one other thing I want to note is make sure to check preserve log. Um, so that way uh, your, your uh, AJAX requests are going to be preserved instead of going away when the page refreshes. That's important because during this process, the page will refresh and, and that'll all disappear. Um, so once we've got that ready, I'm gonna go ahead and click Backup Site Now. And um, there's two options here. We have Backup All Tables for a full backup or a custom backup, which has uh, a list of the database tables that you can include and exclude. Um, so first situation, let's do Backup All Tables and Backup Site Now. And what I want you to do is click on that Admin Ajax request and we want to look for the form data. So the form data in here is going to have uh, this field, table inclusion type full. Um, so in this situation, when we're doing all of the tables, uh, we're not going to have an array of the tables that are included or excluded. This is just going to be full. Um, once that finishes, we will start another backup. I'm going to go ahead and clear my data. And if I do backup site now, and I do a custom backup, um, and I submit that, I'll have another AJAX request. And in this one, we can see the uh, table inclusion type is custom, and we'll have an array of all of those, all of those tables. Um, those kind of move around as the thing goes along. If at any point you want to uh, stop them from moving around, click this red button and you'll preserve uh, everything here. So um, that's what we're looking for. Um, if you can um, get the form data section from your admin ajax.php request um, and look for the table inclusion type and the include tables array if they're there. Um, and let us know in the forums uh, what you have for those values when you're creating your backup request. Um, so let us know if you have any questions about following that procedure, Software Dancer. I really appreciate your help, and uh, I'm happy to help, so please let us know if you have any more questions.